This is me in Germany at Dachau concentration camp doing something highly illegal. Looking back now, it breaks my heart. It's gone from national socialist to neo-Nazi to white supremacist to white nationalist, and now we're using the term alt-right. Hail Trump! Hail our people! Hail victory! I was the one who helped create some of this ideology from the very beginning. My name's Christian Picciolini, and this is the time I changed my mind. When I joined America's first neo-Nazi skinhead group, suddenly I felt like I could conquer the world. I'd been kicked out of four high schools, one of them twice, and I met some individuals, and they promised me paradise. They promised me that the bullies would go away, that my life would get better, that I'd have a family, and that I would have a sense of purpose. Being a skinhead for me gave me this sense of power that I was lacking when I felt the most powerless. This was the band. It told us to go out and hurt people because we needed to protect ourselves, and in fact, we did do that. We did go out and attack people because we believed that that was the right thing to do. Well, I think it's very hard for uh, a white male don't get tattooed, don't shave your head, stop wearing a clan hood, don't wave a swastika flag, wear a suit and tie, go to college, blend in and mainstream the ideology. And in fact, that's what we're seeing now. We're seeing the normalization of racism in our country. It always existed, it just lived in the shadows. Here I was holding my son. I'd already started to have confusing thoughts about my ideology. I just couldn't reconcile the hate anymore. But because I was a greedy business person, I also said, well, I'm not just gonna take money from my brothers and sisters, I'm gonna take money from the enemy too. I started to meet and dialogue for the first time with African Americans and with gay people and with Jewish people. They started to draw a conversation out of me that was more personal. I really received compassion and empathy from the people that I least deserved it from. And that's what changed me. And for the last 20 years, uh, I've dedicated my life to helping other people leave the same movement that I helped build. There wasn't a support group for haters, so we try and create that positive gang for them to join with people who understand the motivations of why people join and also understand why people leave these hate groups. And we support each other and they help other people leave. And it's possible, people do want to change. One wonders if these people are people at all, or instead soulless golem. The only way to show them that there is nothing to hate is to show them that there's something to love.